good day all of you welcome to our session welcome to our channel intelligible tutorials in this uh, session i am going to give the clear information regarding the capabilities of the information retrieval systems in the previous videos i told uh, regarding the syllabus what i am going to discuss in the information retrieval systems and what are the topics to be discussed in the irs and as well as uh, item normalization and uh, other kind of the things like the document database search, the functional overview, multimedia database search, like that. So many things we discussed regarding the information retrieval systems. Now, in this uh, video, I am going to discuss about the capabilities of the information retrieval systems. Those capabilities also, especially the search capabilities of the information retrieval systems. The capability is normally divided into four different types of the information retrieval systems. Those are search capabilities, browse capabilities, miscellaneous capabilities and some of the standards. What are the standards that are used for the information retrieval systems? All of the things now we see. But in this video, I am going to discuss the search capabilities of the information retrieval systems. Coming to the search cap capabilities. The search capabilities can be divided into uh, these many number of the types like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 number of the types. These 8 are the various search capabilities, each and every one having its own sub speciality to design. So what are the each and every one, what are the various search capabilities now we are going to see. The first one in the search capabilities is the Boolean lossy and the second one is the proximity. The third one, contiguous word phrases. Fourth one, fuzzy searches. Fifth one, term masking. Sixth one, numerical and data ranges. Um, and seventh one, concept thesaurus expansion. And last one is natural language queries. Okay. So these are the various search capabilities. Now, each and every one now we are going to see. Coming to the first one is Boolean operators. So it is nothing but Boolean logic. So, what are the Boolean operators we are going to use? AND, OR, NOT. So, AND can be used where condition A and condition B both must be true. Coming to the OR, among the two conditions, between the two conditions, condition A or condition B, any one must be true. But not between two conditions, no one condition should be true. Like that, the Boolean operators can be used in the Boolean loss. Okay, so let us see some examples relevant to the Boolean operators. See in this particular example, the computer or processor not mainframe. That means select the words either computer or the system, what the system will oper operate on this particular statement. We have given the such statement like computer or processor not mainframe. Then the particular system will uh, search based on uh, select all items. Uh, which are discussing about the computers or processors, but not in the mainframes. So it selects only the topics which discussion which discussing about the computers or processors, but not the mainframes. Like that, the R operator will work. Okay, computer R processor not mainframe. Here the parenthesis is given. Okay, so what is the speciality? Not processor and not mainframe. Only either computer or not processor or not mainframe. Select all items discussing the computers. Okay. Or uh, the items discuss processors and do not discuss with the mainframes. Okay. So select the all the items discussing along with the computer or processors but not in mainframes. Like that here also we can separate these things. Okay. Next coming to the computer and not processor are mainframe. Here, select all items that are in computer and not processors are mainframes in the item. Like that, these using the boolean operators, we can use and or not for selection of the items, for selection of the searching of the items. Whenever we use and, both conditions must be true. Whenever we use or, either this or that, any one of the condition must be true. Whenever we use not, no condition should be true. That means that is not at all allowed. Like that, the Boolean operators can be implemented in the search capabilities. So, this is the first one we completed the Boolean logic. Okay. 
and next we are going to discuss about the proximity the second one let us see in the list here sorry let us see in the list here it is showing as proximity the first one we completed boolean logic the second one is nothing but proximity so what is the meaning of the proximity now we see here so what is the meaning of the proximity the meaning of the proximity is nothing but similarity actually it's a semantic phenomena which describes the closer of two terms and we display those two are the equal or nearer terms okay semantic means the meaning of the particular word whatever we are going to search but what is the main aim of this proximity is nothing but it increase the precision of the search as we all of you know what is the meaning of the precision selection of the top relevant items and giving the least priority to least relevant items top most relevant items only will be selected 100% match is only allowed that is nothing but the precision okay so coming to the next point term 1 with m units of term 2 so the difference between the term 1 and term 2 m units m units means it is m number of the characters or those number of the characters can be represented as integer number okay the distance operator between one term to another term is nothing but m it is an integer number and units are characters or it may be words or it may be sentences or it may be paragraphs so we have to differentiate one term with another term with the help of some measurements these measurements are called as units and denoted as m here okay so the distance operator m whatever the differences between these two are there is differentiated is clearly given as the integer number so this integer number may be number of the characters they differ number of the words they differ number of sentences or number of the paragraphs they differ okay so like that the proximity is intended to increase the precision next we will see some examples based on the proximity let us see see the venetian and is a blind the set statement is given as look at carefully the venetian it is a blind so what does it find it will find the items that went in venetian venetian followed by blind but not the items discussed the reverse blind venetian so venetian followed by blind whatever words are there those words can be displayed okay in remaining words it won't uh, it won't select it won't display that means the 100% uh, match is occurred here so that's why we can say it is intended to develop the precision only by using this simple statement okay and next coming to the set statement united within five words american then we can find the we can find the words like united states and american interests because united and american both words will be there united airlines and american airlines this is also allowed united word is there and american word is also there and not on united states of america and the american dream okay united states of america and the american dream means within five words only it should be there here how many words this is the one 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 seven words difference is there from united to american here as in the top most uh, examples of the upper examples 1 2 3 4 With, within the four only the both words will occur united and states so it, if you consider it as one it is two it is third word it is fourth word so within the five number of the words only both words can occur united and american coming to the second example 1 2 3 4 here also it is four united occurs between the Uh, fourth letter only so it is also allowed but not on united states of america and the american dream here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so both words united and american occur in between the seven words but here the set statement given as the five words only the limit so first two examples are allowed here the last example is not at all allowed here okay so the next come this is the way to identify the proximity now coming to the next one nuclear within zero paragraphs is not okay so zero graph paragraph means what within the paragraph only it will not allow the other paragraph the search will not be allowed in the other paragraph like that the nuclear within the zero paragraph will not okay so it will find the items that have nuclear and clean up in the same paragraph likewise we use the proximity search in the 
search capabilities. So we completed here two different kinds of researches, Boolean logic and proximity. Proximity means similarity. The main aim of the proximity is designed in a way to increase the precision. That means exact uh, word matching but not the recall. Okay. So these are the examples regarding the proximity. Now coming to the third one is contiguous word phrases. A contiguous word phrase is two or more words that are treated as a semantic unit of searches. So what are the contiguous word phrases? Let us see some examples based on this. A query has manufacturing and the United States of America here which returns the word manufacturing and contiguous words United States of America. Okay, so exact matching only allowed in similar and semantic meaning of the matching will not be allowed here. See manufacturing followed by the United States of America. Here also manufacturing and United States of America is only allowed. That means it is also mainly focusing on exact matching. Whenever it is exact matching, it is focusing on the precision only but not the recall. Okay. So, this is because of the proximity and Boolean operators are binary. One thing here we need to remember regarding this point. Proximity and Boolean operators are binary operators. In the proximity also we have seen if the continuous word we find, then only it will search. Else it won't allow. It simply kept as 0. Okay. That means it is uh, whenever the word occur, it uh, represents as 1 or else it represents as 0 in the proximity condition. Whereas in the Boolean operators also, and are not uh, what we have seen in this uh, particular slide. And are not. These are also some kind of the Boolean operators. But contiguous word phrases are NRA operators, where N is the number of the words in the contiguous word phrases. See, in the contiguous word phrases, how many number of the words are calculated here? How many number of the words in United Manufacturing and United States of America? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 number of the words. It counts. So, contiguous word phrases counts the number of the phrases instead of the Boolean operators. Whether the word occurs or not, it won't uh, find. But it finds the number of the words what are there in the contiguous word phrases. But it is, uh, it is also invented in a way to increase the precision. Okay. So, this is nothing but contiguous word phrases. So, we have completed the contiguous word phrases. The next one we are going to discuss about fudgy searches. What is the meaning of the fudgy search? Now we see. Okay. Fudgy searches means it finds some particular items uh, which are similar to the uh, item what we are going to search. That means uh, uh, some kind of the item you are going to search for computer. Okay. The computer can have computer, computer, compute, compute, etc. All these are the similar kind of the words of the computer. All words can appear whenever you perform your search with the computer. Okay. What is the main aim of this fudgy search is nothing but uh, it is uh, increasing the recall but it is decreasing the precision. Only recall is allowed. Precision is not allowed. Exact word matching you need not necessary in the fudgy search. It finds the similar pronounced words like computer, computer, com computer, 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 like that. Such kind of the all the words it forms in the for the search. So, I completed the four uh, four kinds of the things here uh, regarding the search capabilities. In the continuous video of the coming video of this followed video, we will search remaining things. So, please subscribe my channel for further videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you, Ramindal. Please follow my next video which is going to discuss about the remaining four terms of the search capabilities. Thank you.